Chicago. I haven't vlogged since I've been right. I haven't vlogged uh, since I arrived. I basically left at 6 a.m. this morning and flew, landed, tattooed, forgot that I double booked myself, tattooed again, and now I'm at my hotel. I didn't book this hotel pre like, pre trip before I got here. I literally booked this hotel. Hotels tonight. Hotels tonight. No, it's not gonna be an ad. Hotels tonight's an app. But I used it. I really didn't know where I wanted to stay. And uh, so I just decided to stay here because it's cheap. And there is a big bed. All I really want. <coughs> oh, let's get up in here. Hold on. Ah. All I really want. This little pillow talk. Let's head here. So all I really want to do tonight is draw because I have a big tattoo tomorrow. Sleep in a comfy bed. This one looks looks pretty good eat some pizza. Because I'm in Chicago, you know we gotta do the Chicago thing. No need to debate about which place is best because Lumonati's is right down the street. So I'm getting that. And then we only got this hotel for one night because again, I didn't really plan to stay anywhere. I don't really know where I wanna stay. It depends on what time I get out of work and all these other things. But there's one thing is there's this hotel called the Roadway Inn. The Roadway Inn you may have seen <clears throat> in your local town and it's not the most desirable place on the outside doesn't look great usually. Usually things with in in them don't aren't great, I feel like. But the Roadway Inn is got the most mixed bag reviews I've ever seen on a hotel. Uh, someone even was quoted saying it's the best hotel they've ever stayed in. The Roadway Inn in Chicago North. We may as a project during this trip go stay at the Roadway Inn to figure out what it's really about. I'm a little terrified because no, I'm not terrified of like someone trying to sell me crack or you know prostitutes or any like violence or anything like that. I'm scared that the bed's not gonna be comfortable and I'm gonna get a terrible night's sleep. So I might need a backup hotel just in case that happens, but the old roadway. Oh yeah, tonight it's pizza and drawing and back to the shop tomorrow. Chicago day one is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. See ya when the pizza gets here. Okay, so last night I ate quite a bit of this uh, deep dish pizza. So this morning, this morning we went on a four mile walk and we got fruit because, you know, it's all about balance, dog. It's a great view. It's an incredible view. Uh, get my drawing done, tightened up, finished, and then get to the shop. <laughs> I recorded this because somebody sent me this. Hat. Oh, it is a burger. Okay. It's a green chili burger. All right. Busy day here. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Yeah, burger's pretty solid. I don't know why. Friday. Just got done tattooing. Just got here to my new hotel, which is not the roadway in. Not by a long shot. This is the Ritz motherfucking Carlton. So here's our view. You know, the beautiful Chicago sky with the lamp reflection. Here, we gotta turn this lamp off. First, shout out to the guy who sent me the burger at work today. Came in clutch. And now we have to figure out dinner. But the only reason I stayed at this Ritz Carlton is because it was free. So I don't even think I'm out here spending the fucking $500 a night it is to stay in this hotel room. I am not. These hotels that are this expensive are not worth the money in my opinion. But it is nice. It's a really nice room. Very comfortable. I'm sure I'm gonna sleep like a baby on that bed right there. I'm gonna get some good ass food because I'm sure there's a bunch of it around. I'm gonna go walk a little more. You know, just uh, relax. Just having a good time tattooing here in Chicago. The shop is cool. The shop is moved. It's so, it's really just nice to be back out away from home for a little bit, you know, making art. Living the life, baby, you know, living the life. There's no time for much else. It's just tattoo, 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 and then we'll go home. Well, next we'll go to Detroit, but I'm having a good time. The weather's great. It's not 116. It's amazing. It's amazing. Let me hit these streets. Keeping it consistent, I guess. We, uh, we walked around and we got Giordano's tonight, so Blues and Geo's. Thin and thick. You gotta try them both. You can't just get one. You know what I'm saying? People don't know. But Chicago's known for that thin crust too, dog. That's to fuck with it. 
Last night, we really just, we walked, walked, walked. Hotel Goldilocks, Pizza Goldilocks, we're doing it all Goldilocks style. Giordano's versus Lou Malnati's. I think Lou's is better. I like Giordano's thin crust better than Lou's, but I like Lou's deep dish better. It's early, I so I'm not riding my bike, obviously. Just to make sure I keep moving, because, you know, it had to when you sit in a chair all day. So to make sure I keep moving, I go on a morning walk. Yesterday, we walked like eight miles or some shit. So today, we're gonna go walk to that Ferris wheel and that little pier. This hotel's okay. Like, it's really nice. Luxurious. There's a lot of accoutrement. But I didn't sleep that well, honestly. This bed was like too soft. So yeah, tonight we'll stay in somewhere else. Let's see what's up. Goldilocks, Chicago edition. All right, let's hit these motherfucking streets and then we'll hit the shop. Tattoo. So it's been crazy. Uh, I've been tattooing pretty much nonstop. Last night we went and ate at Bobby Chin's. Got a document that I'm at Bobby Chin's, an adventure 45 minutes north of Chicago for some fucking crab legs. It's an experience. I think that seafood is better than here. I've never had this place. Dude. Yeah. 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 If you know anything about Bobby Chin, what one time was the highest grossing restaurant in America. Highest grossing restaurant, not including alcohol sales, just food. Bobby Chin's story is pretty cool. Restaurant was pretty good. It's a crab house. It was pretty good. It's pretty far. Dustin and his bowling buddies were going out and I was like, fuck it, I'll go. New hotel, we just, I don't think the real weigh-in's gonna happen, guys. The more I drive by it, the more I'm like, yeah, definitely not. Um, but this is the Westin. We also got this on point. A lot of points for Marriott now. We're gonna have to start spending real cash. Weston's pretty nice. This is actually a remodeled room, apparently. All of the rooms are supposed to look like this soon enough. I'm one of the first people to ever stay in this room after the remodel. So if you come here, this is what you're gonna get. Shower's pretty clutch. I will say, between this, which is normally probably about $200 a night, and the uh, Ritz-Carlton, which is about $500 a night, unless you're hanging out in your hotel all day and doing things on the property, it's definitely not worth the money difference. There's like almost no difference. I mean, the bed is almost the same. I slept like shit the last two nights anyway, so it really makes it not worth the money. <laughs> Stank over here in the corner doing yoga. We're at the Sheridan, dog. You know it. Came to the Sheridan last night after a bunch of weeks. You didn't even pick this camera up yesterday. <laughs> We're fucking out here. I don't know if you can see across the way there is Lord Emperor Trump's building. He lives on the very top up there, looking down on all the peasants. We got soup dumplings last night at Hing Ki, which was the most fire. Hing Ki. And we were good until and we, we were good. Pizza. We were good. Then we came back here and somebody had a bright idea to get the quads. So we've had Lou Malnati's, the quads, Giordano's, and at the shop yesterday we had Art of Pizza. Yeah. It's been a little fucking. It's pizzas. I'm feeling like a pizza shit right now. We're gonna go walk <laughs> like six miles. Straight pizza shit. Yeah. I'm fucking this dude's back. Yeah. <laughs> so much red. <laughs> this has been my hotel journey this time. This is probably the least luxurious of the, of the hotels. But I probably slept the best. But only because the bed was firm and also because you brought weed. So <laughs> that probably had the most to do with it. None of these hotels get cold. It doesn't get cold enough. 65 is not cold enough. It doesn't even feel like a true 65 in here either. I gotta go to the shop.
the motherfucking Sheridan in Detroit. Is that what this is? No. What is this place? <laughs> what is it? The Marriott at the Renaissance Center, which is holy fucking overpriced. Not worth it. Sick of the AC not going down below 65. I will say this goes to 60, but I'll also say that these numbers are superficial and they don't actually mean anything because it is not 60 degrees in here. Chicago was amazing. It was great. Fudo Tattoo was great. Yeah, I really like that shop. I like Chicago, but now we're in Detroit. Which, last night, was not fucking fun. Because guess what? It's not open anymore. Anything to eat here. Today's an off day. No tattoos. We'll walk around Detroit, and then we're going to head to check into another hotel. Which I'm probably just going to book for the whole time because I'm sick of moving hotels. The streets of Detroit. What do you want to do? What is there to do? What is exactly. there to do in There's Detroit? Awesome. There's just a lot of walking. I mean, that's what we'll do here. There's just going to be less to see. I feel like all cities and traveling is just walking and seeing things. I don't want to fucking learn about no cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's all that, like, art stuff around Stock X, but... You gotta be close to the river walk because of the fucking river oh, yeah. right there. Stinks over here trying to light this joint. These geese are pressing me. I swear I to God. Bro, I swear to God I walked out here and they just moved in a mass. Like, they just all ran up on me. Like, they can feel my energy. And I'm actually afraid of them. Look. Homeboy is creeping. Look. My dog is creeping. He better not communicate to his fucking homies. Do you saw it? It was crazy. The whole herd moved. 100% saw it. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm fucking terrified. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do nothing. You fucking pressing me. Terrified. <laughs> All I know is they're pressing me, dog. <laughs> right here in Utica. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me. We're buddies. Buddies in Utica. We got some pierogies at the market. Bye. We're good. All right, we got buddies. That was almost as good as the last. One. I feel like I feel like people are gonna be like, this isn't, this is like mainstream, but we're going mainstream with the inventor. Shout out to Gus. The inventor. Thank you. All right. Okay, so um, we are in uh, we are in Utica. You really tell. I can't tell how focused. Now it's focusing. So okay, so this trip has been. Um, this trip has been hectic. Things before th before this trip even... This is not working for me. So even before the trip, as probably some of you have noticed, and some people have hit me up, some people have shown concern and just like, um, I've been like less around than normal. Um, I mean, there's been a lot going on. And I say that a lot, and I'm always usually talking about business and um, how much I want to do, you know, like how many ideas I have. So mostly that revolves around that, what I'm saying, you know, if there's a lot going on, you know. I don't really know, I mean, I guess the truth is, is I don't really know what I should say. And I don't know what I, you know, what I'm trying to do is give you guys the information that you need <clears throat> without, without anyone losing their dignity, or I don't know, like, I guess I'm trying to protect people, you know what I mean? I guess at the end of the day, what I've been doing for the past four months is protect people. Like, I just keep trying to protect Jay from his own reality. Really, that's it, you know? I mean, you know, I'm not really ever trying to protect Aaron. He's he's got it. But I, I guess the real thing I'm trying to say is that things with Jay have, come, have changed. That's the only really thing that I can say. And, um... He's no longer living in my house. And that happened a few days before I left to come on this trip. So the week leading up to this trip was pretty crazy. I'm not gonna give any details about what is going on and I'm not gonna put anybody's life out there. His parole officer knows where he is. He's got his, a place where he's living to get his shit straight. I have done my best to try to help. You know, I might not be equipped to help in certain areas. I um, just might not be the person for it, like whatever. Like I don't have a complex of, I can't save you, no one can. So I, I, I don't feel like that. I just feel like uh, our time, and my help at least, I've exhausted all the resources that I have. I've exhausted every single piece of advice, time, money, everything that I can into his future and having it go the way that I think he wants it to go. But that's just not what's happened. Like, that's just not what's happened. And he's on his own journey and he's doing his own thing right now. And uh, he's still in Vegas. And normally I wouldn't even tell anybody anything about this, but I cannot, I mean, my life, a lot of it 
takes place on the internet and I've made this choice to sort of share what's going on with everything and it's not really fair of me to not discuss that there's obviously something going on behind the scenes. So it's really uh, why things have been hectic. That's this trip, you know, it's been, I've done way less as far as going out and doing stuff. I really just have needed some time to myself. Like I really just needed a little bit of time to kind of just clear my head and just do what I know, which is tattooing. Have a little fun, but also be making art and just getting back to, I guess, I guess my roots in a way, you know what I mean? I guess sometimes I feel like things have gotten so far from the origins of what, of the intention of what I've been trying to do that, you know, you have to pull it back. The shop we're gonna go to, Big Top today, is gonna be great. It's a great shop. I love Dan, the owner. And in fact, I would move to a place like Detroit or Chicago and work and still do what I do and do all that stuff. Um, it's just not where I am right now. And I don't know what's going to happen next. I don't know how long I'm going to stay in Vegas. My life for the past <clears throat> seven, eight years has been, been planned around the events that took place the last six months. Because all this is doing what it does and the story is evolving as it evolves, I am now free to make new choices about what I want for the future. Do I know what that is? Absolutely not. Do I plan to move like next month? No, I do not. Do I plan to stay in Vegas for a really, really long time? At the moment? No, probably not. But uh, I don't know, things could change. Right now I enjoy traveling and coming to shops, doing a couple of the person vacuuming out. So this lady's been cleaning outside forever. But I feel like I should just wait for her to leave for now. So this hotel is not exceptionally nice and what i've learned about how you know hotels are all an illusion this hotels whatever it's really close to the shop it's cheap and there's no reason for me to commute from detroit to utica every day just to go get dinner lately my schedule has been so busy that i can't even really get a solid sit down meal so anyway uh me and jay's relationship right now is i'm not taking anything he's doing personally and i gotta take a step back and i gotta just uh, let him do what he does so uh that's just what it is. And I just have to be honest with you about it. You know, everybody everybody has choices in their life. You know, you have choices in your life, whatever choices you want. And there's repercussions to every choice, whether you see that, believe that, want that to be true, it is true. Every single person you interact with, every conversation, every all these things, every Instagram <coughs> post, these things can come back and they can really, uh, start defining parts of your life that you might not want. So you just gotta be really careful with the energy that you put out in the world and you really gotta be careful what, with what harm you do to the things you come in contact with. I might sound like a hippie right now. You know, I definitely look like one. I really need to get this cut. I haven't been able to concentrate on the vlog or even really just like living my life freely the last few months because there's just been a lot of work going on trying to, uh, coach this man along in his life and try to make sure he's on the path that he says he wants to be on. And I, at this point, have just got to relinquish control and step back and get back to my own life. He's gonna do what he does, you know? I wish him the best. I hope things work out for him. I don't know if there's anything else I can do. <laughs>
today is our last day in Detroit, Utica, whatever. I feel kind of like people, when I say Detroit, they're gonna go, that's Utica, it's not Detroit. So we're in Utica. My homeboy shop is here. Last day. Got one more tattoo. Stank is good back. He's gonna be downstairs in just a second. Big Stank. Yeah, in buddy. The building. Look at him. We missed you, dog. Yeah. I spoke with say there wasn't water on the freeway when they were driving initially it happened all of a sudden and this is where they say it came from not just the sky but from the embankment spaces like this you can see how the grass is completely flattened it just happened all of a sudden it wasn't even no water and all the water was just coming on the freeway coming on the freeway I'm like oh my god the big old hole where the water was coming out it was just coming out real fast it just seemed like I don't know it was unreal it seemed like I was in a movie uh so Detroit is flooded and now we're in the fucking Dude, just driving around. walking really? dead it's just cars really are just know. dude look at that it's yeah. like someone looted this shit yeah, that's hard, hard though this fucking Cadillac CTSV fuck this is crazy this has been the craziest <laughs> Look at these like searchlights up here. Yeah, I don't know. Well, dinner was good. This is fucking wicked, bro. Is that the bath thing? Dog, well, you know we're, we're there. Come here for safety. Yeah, we'll Welcome to Terminus. Oh, it's just for the club. <laughs> they like come here. It's just the strip club. Oh, yeah, there's no street lights. No street lights. Keep going. You don't give a fuck, bro. See? I'm yeah. I got out of there before it fell off. Oh, it's gonna fall off and he's done. Dude, what the fuck? Dude, why doesn't he care? Yeah, why doesn't he care? How is he still going? I can still smell because And now he just has his turn signal like he just drive. noticed. That's it. We're done. Me and Stink, we went to uh we went to the Great Ghost. That shit was fucking amazing. Whatever. <laughs> Um, yeah, I have a flight 1218, flight at 7 a.m. Bye bye. Hey, hello. Come here. Come here. Come on. <laughs> oh, get that toy. Get the toy. Most annoying one. Just Hello. 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 Hello